What's up, Geminis? Welcome to your full in-depth love reading from now until February 23rd, 2021. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you guys have those placements in your birth chart, this reading may very well resonate with you. Or if you're dealing with somebody that does, definitely keep in mind this is a general reading. So it may not resonate with every single Gemini out there every single time. Feel free to check your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Sometimes those may resonate more certain months. Some people like to watch them all, put it all together. Totally up to you guys. If you are a returning subscriber to this channel, I just want to thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate your support. And if you are new to this channel, we actually go in at the end with the after tarot for future predictions. These can actually manifest three to six months ahead. And then we do go in with the tarot of sexual magic. So if there's anything shady showing up in your love reading, any third parties, anything like that, these cards will definitely reveal what's going on. Plus it will give you a lot more information on your love life whether you're single or taken and then we do go in with several other juicy decks as well to really get the scoop and really figure out what's going on and what's going to happen from now until February 23rd for y'all so let's do this for Gemini I'm going to focus on love guys but you can certainly pertain it to absolutely anything that's happening in your life as far as career work situations family situations friends you name it, however it fits and however it resonates for you guys. So let's do this for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from now until February 23rd, 2021, Spirit. What's going on? What's going to happen? For Gemini's in love from now until February 23rd, 2021, Spirit. Alright guys, we are good. Definitely keep in mind, general, general, general reading. All information about personal readings is down below. Plus how your partner or your love interest truly feels about you is down below as well. So interesting, Gemini. Overall energy, we've got the double reversed. So for you or whoever you're dealing with, it definitely looks like somebody's trying to get out of a toxic negative situation. This could be for you or whoever you're dealing with, trying to get rid of negative toxic habits, anything like that. Oh yeah, Gemini, this looks, this looks nasty. Okay, it definitely looks like somebody has been playing mind games or somebody has felt defeated here and now somebody wants to get rid of negative habits, toxic habits, or somebody wants to get out of a negative toxic situation. So we're going to lay out all the cards and clarify each and every one so you guys get the most information as possible. So present energy right now, Gemini, we have got the Eight of Cups. So present energy right now, somebody, whether this is you or whoever you're dealing with, someone's walking away from something or someone right now. Somebody has now realized for the present energy that it's time to walk away from something or someone. So we'll clarify. So thoughts and concerns for you, Gemini, what you're thinking about, what you're concerned about. We have got the Queen of Cups. So you guys very well could be thinking and concerned about a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female. Or you very well could be thinking and concerned about somebody who is, you know, very loving, very caring, very intuitive, very emotionally stable. Um, or you could just, you know, be thinking and concerned about somebody opening up and being loving, being caring, and being intuitive. So we'll clarify. So the basis of the reading or the advice from Spirit for y'all, we have got the King of Swords. So Spirit is advising here that someone knows the truth. So either you know the truth, Gemini, somebody's very logical. Spirit's advising someone's very logical here. Somebody's making a very logical decision. Somebody is very truthful, but harsh, yet straight to the point. Okay, so this could be you, Gemini, you know, realizing the truth, being logical, making a fair decision or telling the truth, or Spirit's advising that somebody needs to do this, or Spirit's advising someone else is doing this here, being honest, being truthful, being logical, knowing the truth, stating the truth here. Spirit could also be advising here that someone needs to make a big decision. Well, we'll clarify and we'll see. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy as well. So in the recent past, Gemini, ooh. Okay, so Gemini, in the recent past, there's definitely some a lot of pain. 
a lot of pain in the recent past, betrayal in the recent past. I'm even getting there may have been a death in the recent past. That's obviously not going to be for everybody. Whew, it's very heavy. But it definitely looks like there has been a betrayal or there has been pain here. And now it's time for someone to walk away from something or someone here. Interesting. So let's see. What's crossing you guys? This could be holding you back or pushing you forward, influencing you negatively or positively, however it resonates for you. Wow, we've got the King of Cups. So it very well could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, holding you back or pushing you forward. It could be someone, you know, very loving, very caring, very emotionally balanced, very intuitive here. This is very interesting because we've got soulmate energy. Whew. So what's holding you back or pushing you forward may be, you know, someone needing to be emotional. Someone being emotional could be holding you back or pushing you forward. Someone being emotionally av available could be holding you back or pushing you forward. Someone being open and honest could be holding you back, pushing you forward here. Interesting. So let's see. Going into the near future, this most definitely is a prediction. This may play out by February 23rd. It could also exceed depending on your situation and also depending on your own free will. Wow, Gemini. So going into the near future, we've got the Magician. So this is beautiful. So within the next few days or weeks, this is going to be, you know, you or whoever you're dealing with. I'm assuming you guys manifesting, bringing what it is you want into your life here. This could be some type of conversation as well within the next few days or weeks. But we'll see. Gemini, Virgo, Aries energy. So for other current circumstances or situations that Gemini may be dealing with or going through in love, we have got the Six of Cups. So someone very well could be returning from the past, Gemini, or you very well could be going back to someone from the past. Um, this could also be like childhood memories as well, nostalgia, and this could also have to do with children, okay? We'll clarify and see. So externally to you, Gemini. This could be anybody in your environment. This could be anybody around you. This could be friends, family, lovers, husbands, wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, you name it. Absolutely anybody externally to you. We have got the death card. Whew. Wow, this is very heavy, Gemini. So I have to bring this up. This is not going to be for everyone, but I do see a death here for some, not all. Um, this may be somebody externally, okay, but externally to Gemini, this person may have ended something with you, or you very well could have ended something with this person, or this person externally to you is kind of having like a rebirth. They're transforming, they're changing here. But something is end something has ended with this person externally to you, or you've ended something with this person externally to you here. So let's see, hopes and fears for you, Gemini, what you're hoping, what you're fearing. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. So hard work, hard, you know, a lot of effort, hard work. You could be hoping or fearing here. We'll definitely clarify. So let's see, the outcome for y'all from now until February 23rd, 2021, we have got temperance. Interesting. Wow. This is big, Gemini. Big, big, big energy within the next few days or weeks. This is real big. This is like manifesting, cooperating together, finding inner peace, fixing a situation, healing. So in the outcome here, it definitely looks like you're going to be cooperating with someone or somebody's going to be cooperating with you. There's going to be inner peace. There's going to be, you know, fixing a situation here or fixing a relationship or fixing yourself here. So we'll clarify. Let's see. So remember, the bottom overall energy is all about, you know, getting away from somebody that's, you know, playing mind games or somebody that's manipulating or the situation is all about kind of accepting defeat and getting away from a toxic negative situation here. So let's clarify. These are pre-shuffled. Some of y'all know if you've been with me for a while, but I like to keep going until we get that vibe from spirit. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus spirit to clarify the spread. 
for Gemini's in love. All right, so let's see. In the recent past, Gemini, we've got the Ten of Swords. So a lot of pain, a lot of betrayal, a lot of hurt in the recent past. This could even have been a death for some, not all. But a lot of pain, a lot of betrayal, a lot of hurt here in the recent past. Let's see. Why is the Ten of Swords here in the recent past for Gemini's spirit? Wow, we've got the Witch which is also the magician, okay? So it definitely looks like in the recent past, Gemini, someone purposely hurt someone here. Someone purposely caused harm. Someone purposely caused betrayal. Somebody purposely caused pain here in the recent past, or there was communication of betrayal, communication of pain here. Very interesting. I don't like to clarify the past too much, so we're not going to focus on that. If you guys want to watch your last reading, I'll post it up here for y'all. Feel free to watch it, see if it rings true for you. But we're going to keep it moving and see why the present energy is the Eight of Cups. So this is either for you, Gemini, or whoever you're dealing with. Someone's now walking away from something or someone here. Someone now knows that, you know, they've got to walk away from something or someone. So let's see what this is all about. Why is the Eight of Cups here the present energy for Gemini's in love spirit? Nine of Cups. Wow. So present energy right now, Gemini, it's like someone now knows. Someone's very happy and someone's very content right now. But somebody now knows they've got to walk away from something or someone. It's like present energy right now. It's like somebody knows they're not going to get the Ten of Cups with somebody. They know they're not going to get their happily ever after from someone right now. So there is happiness here, but it's like somebody's walking away from it. There could also be overindulgence as well for the present energy that somebody is walking away from. But we're going to clarify this again. Tell me more, Spirit. Why is the Eight of Cups here the present energy for Gemini's in love? Yeah. Look at that. Someone is definitely content and moving forward here. Someone's moving forward very slowly. Someone's walking away from something or someone. It's almost an energy of like somebody kind of got their way here. Very interesting, Gemini. But someone is definitely, you know, picking themselves up and moving on, moving away from someone or moving forward from something or someone. So let's see why Spirit is advising the king of swords so spirits advising here that somebody needs to be logical or spirits advising here that somebody knows the truth spirit could also be advising here that somebody has got to make a logical decision here so let's see why is the king of swords here the advice for gemini's in love we've got the page of swords reversed Ooh, gemini so Spirit's advising here that someone has definitely realized the truth, okay? Spirit's advising that, you know, secrets, lies, deception, all of that stuff has come out. Or if Spirit's advising, it will come out. Somebody's going to realize the truth. Somebody's going to realize that they have to get themselves out of this devil, toxic energy here. Somebody very well could even be, you know, stalking and spying. But Spirit's advising, you know, somebody has now has the information. Somebody knows the truth. This is what Spirit's advising. Spirit's also advising someone needs to make a decision or someone is going to make a decision to get themselves out of this negative, toxic energy here. What else is the advice for Gemini's in love, Spirit? Ooh, okay. So Spirit's definitely advising this is someone's worst nightmare. Like somebody's going through it right now. Somebody realizes the truth and it's somebody's worst nightmare here. Somebody's going through a lot. This is what Spirit's advising. Tell me more. What else is the advice for Gemini's in love? Ooh. Yep. Somebody's definitely investigating or somebody's trying to get more information here. Somebody knows the truth about something coming to an end here, or somebody knows the truth about somebody getting rid of something or someone. Someone now realizes the, tr the truth, and it's somebody's worst nightmare here. Also, Spirit's advising that somebody knows they messed up. Spirit could also be advising that someone's, you know, really upset as well. Somebody's worst nightmare here. Someone knows the truth. 
or somebody's going to find out the truth. Tell me more. What else is the advice for Geminis in love? Ooh, you guys. So we've got clout hungry. So there's someone here, Gemini Spirit's advising, there's someone here that says anything, does anything, makes things up, and is very dramatic. So there's someone here that's, that's making things up. Spirit's advising, someone likes to talk. Someone's very dramatic, somebody makes things up. But Spirit's advising here, someone is going to find out the truth. Somebody's going to find out the truth about what somebody did or what somebody said. Somebody knows the truth. Somebody knows that someone is BSing them. Someone's worst nightmare here. Woo. What else is the advice for Gemini's in love spirit? What else is the advice for Gemini's in love? Oh my god, y'all. Yeah, look, spirit's advising someone's dirt digging, someone's looking for dirt on you, Gemini, or you're looking for dirt on someone else, or somebody's got dirt here. Someone's investigating, someone's getting evidence, or somebody has been stalking and spying. Someone now realizes that someone was lying, someone was being dramatic, somebody was making things up. Everything's coming to a head here. Like, somebody knows the truth. Someone knows the truth and it's somebody's worst nightmare. So somebody's going to make a decision here. That's what Spirit's advising. Also, Spirit's advising someone's hustling, someone's focused on their money, fo someone's focused on getting money here. Spirit could also be advising that somebody needs to just focus on their money here, okay? But Spirit could also be advising that somebody's, like, getting information on some what somebody's doing with money as well. So y'all be careful with that. Let's see why the King of Cups is crossing y'all. So this very well could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising holding you guys back or pushing you forward. Or this could be, you know, somebody that's open, honest, loving, caring, holding you back or pushing you forward here. Let's see. Why is the King of Cups crossing Geminis in love? Ooh, Knight of Wands. So what I'm getting here, Gemini, what's holding you guys back or what's pushing you forward? Somebody's not taking responsibility for their actions. So this could be holding you guys back or pushing you forward or somebody is taking responsibility for their actions here. Someone being open and honest about their actions is either holding you guys back or pushing you forward here. So... Thoughts and concerns for you, Gemini, you very well could be thinking and concerned about a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. You could also be thinking and concerned about, you know, somebody that's very loving, very caring, very motherly, very intuitive, someone that's very open to love here. Let's see. Or you could be thinking about yourselves in this energy. So let's see. Why is the Queen of Cups in Gemini's thoughts and concerns, Spirit? Ooh. So you guys are definitely thinking and concerned about healing as well. Healing, having hope and faith here. Could be thinking and concerned about someone healing, you know, healing, somebody being loving, caring, emotional, intuitive, and someone healing here and having hope and faith. You could also be thinking and concerned about, sorry if I said hoping or fearing, you could also be thinking and concerned about something coming into the spotlight, something being exposed here, you could be thinking and concerned about, or just thinking and concerned that, you know, somebody is loving, somebody's caring, somebody's emotional, somebody's healing, somebody's having hope and faith, thinking and concerned about someone else being this way or you guys being this way. But let's see what else. What else is Gemini thinking and concerned about in love spirit? Yeah, there's some there's some upset here for sure. It's like you guys very well could be thinking and concerned about waiting on something or someone. You guys very well could be, you know, kind of a, kind of upset here too. It's almost like you guys are thinking and concerned about somebody, you know, being emotionally honest, somebody being loving, somebody being caring, someone healing here. But also kind of thinking and concerned about somebody possibly giving up or no longer waiting here. But let's see. What else is Gemini thinking and concerned about, Spirit? And love. We've got a surprise here. So interesting. You guys very well could be thinking and concerned as well about some type of surprise or somebody finding out something. Or you could be thinking and concerned about somebody settling for something here as well. 
So let's see, for other current circumstances, Gemini, we've got the Six of Cups. So this very well could be someone from your past returning to you, Gemini, or you very well could be returning to someone from the past. This could also be nostalgia, thinking of the past, thinking of childhood. This could also be children as well, but let's see. Why is the Six of Cups here for Geminis in love? Oops. Why is the Six of Cups here for Geminis in love spirit from now until Feb? That's a lot. Dang, y'all. Why is the Six of Cups here for Geminis in love from now until February 23rd? Just one card, spirit. Thank you. Ooh, okay. So for other current circumstances or other current situations that you guys may be dealing with or going through in love, it definitely looks like someone is going to take a risk and go back to someone from the past. Or somebody's going to take a risk and go back to, you know, childhood, some ch some type of childhood thing. Somebody's going to take a risk and go back to their children here or just someone from the past. So this very well could be someone from the past returning to you, Gemini. Or you taking a risk and going back to someone from the past here. Interesting. Let's see. Tell me more. Why is this Six of Cups here for Gemini's in love? Main female. Wow. So this could be someone, if you're a female, this very well could be you taking a risk and going back to someone from the past. Or this very well could be you going back to a female in the past here. Taking a risk with some type of female. Someone's taking a risk going back to someone from the past. And it's got to do with a female here. So let's see, going into the near future, we have got the magician. So somebody is going to be putting something in action. Somebody is going to be manifesting within the next few days or weeks. This very well could be you, Gemini, or this could be a conversation that somebody's having within the next few days or weeks here. Let's see, why is the magician here going into the near future for Gemini in love? Why is the magician here for Gemini is going into... Oh my god. So we've got the devil and the magician, Gemini. So going into the near future, there's going to be this toxic situation or this toxic relationship or this, you know, whatever toxic energy this devil is here. Somebody is either going to be trying to get themselves out of this devil energy within the next few days or weeks or somebody is manipulating within the next few days or weeks somebody's very manipulative and someone's very toxic someone's negative somebody could be you know addicted to substances drugs alcohol it could be an abusive relationship here let's see tell me more why is the devil here going into the near future for gemini's in love oh so it definitely looks like, Gemini, somebody is going to be returning to someone within the next few days or weeks, or somebody's not going to be able to emotionally walk away from something or someone here. And that's the present energy right now, is someone here walking away. Ooh. So be careful. Remember, it's all about getting rid of this negative toxic energy or this negative toxic situation or getting rid of this toxic relationship negative toxic relationship here you know someone feeling defeated and getting themselves out of this toxicity or you know somebody playing mind games and somebody manipulating and someone needing to get themselves out of that energy here but it definitely looks like someone's going right back to the negativity here within the next few days or weeks somebody's going to be manipulative it's going to be a negative toxic situation here somebody's not going to be able to walk away from something or someone that's you know toxic or manipulative it's like going into the near future as well even though somebody knows the truth even though somebody sees the light it's like they can't emotionally walk away or they can't emotionally let go so let's see what Ooh, okay so within the next few days or weeks somebody's going to be riding it out somebody's going to be riding something out riding their emotions out wanting to possibly fix a relationship or just riding out th this toxic situation here going into the near future tell me more what else can gemini's expect going into the near future in love what else can gemini's expect in love going into the near future spirit We've got game over. So see somebody, 
Something's over here, Gemini. Something is over. Something is already over or a situation has already ended or something will be over within the next few days or weeks or something will end here. Somebody's going to be riding this toxic negative situation out but emotionally still tied into it here going into the near future. What else can Geminis expect going into the near future in love spirit? Ooh, so we've got creativity muncher. So someone that steals your ideas, copies your work, or duplicates or feeds off you. So be careful going into the near future, Gemini. This very well could be someone that's stealing someone's work ideas or stealing someone's ideas in general. Someone that's copying someone, um, somebody that's duplicating someone, somebody that's sucking someone's energy dry here going into the near future. Someone's stealing from someone, possibly. Tell me more. What else can Geminis expect here going into the near future in love? Dust it off. Spirit saying dust it off here. Someone needs to dust it off. But it's like the same thing is going to keep happening here going into the near future. Yep. Spirit's also advising here someone's going to be lonely. So it's almost like going into the near future, Gemini. It's like someone's going to want to keep someone in a negative place somebody's gonna try to manipulate someone someone's gonna try to be toxic here somebody's gonna try to be negative and manipulate someone but spirits like you guys are either gonna ride it out or whoever is trying to manipulate whoever's trying to put someone in a toxic situation whoever's stealing from someone whoever's sucking someone's energy someone is gonna get through it Spirit saying, you know, someone's someone's able to get through this because spirit's advising someone knows the truth. Someone has found out the truth. What else can Gemini's expect going into the near future? Ooh, we got an egotistical person. There it is. So somebody's still going to be the same. Somebody's going to be very egotistical, manipulative, negative, nasty. A situation is going to be ended with someone or somebody's going to have a broken heart over this egotistical, manipulative, negative person, but somebody's going to be riding through their emotions, you know, dusting this, this person off, this negative person off here. Tell me more. What else is going to happen for Geminis in love going into the near future spirit? Mm -hmm. There it is, Gemini. There's a she-devil. So there's a very malicious or spiteful woman, okay? There it is. There's someone here that's very nasty, trying to keep someone in a negative, toxic situation, someone that's very malicious, very manipulative, very negative, very egotistical here. Whew, I'm getting chills. Someone's gonna, someone's literally so malicious, or someone going into the near future within the next few days or weeks, somebody's gonna be so malicious and spiteful and negative and manipulative, trying to drag someone down, but it's like, it's not going to work here. Somebody's going to be writing something out here. Yeah, see? Because we've got strong strong female. Someone has been through a lot. So it's like somebody's going to be standing up to whoever this negative toxic person is. Or just like ignoring it going into the near future. So externally to you, Gemini, we have got the death card. So it definitely looks like a situation has ended with this person externally to you, whoever they may be, or you've ended a situation with this person externally to you, or this person externally to you has changed. They're going through some type of rebirth here. And like I said, for some of you, this very well could be a death externally, okay? That's obviously not going to be for everybody, but let's see. Who is this death card externally to Gemini spirit in love? Who is this death card externally to Gemini in love? The world. Oh my God, Gemini. For some of you, I hate to say it. This, I do feel like this is a death externally. Obviously not for everybody. But also for some of you, this is someone externally to you that things have ended with. Okay, so things have ended with this person externally to you. Things have come to a close, an ending, with this person externally to you here. This person externally to you, Gemini, they've also learned some type of karmic lesson. They're changing something here. This person is ending something. 
or you've learned your lesson and ended something with this person externally. What does Gemini need to know about this person externally to them, Spirit? Ooh, okay, so we've got unwanted opinions. So people giving you unsolicited advice or feedback. So this person may be done. They may not want to hear your opinions or your advice, Gemini. Or you don't want to hear their opinions. Like you don't want to listen to what this person has to say. Or they don't want to listen to what you have to say. Either this person externally to you is giving you unwanted advice, unwanted opinions... Or you're giving this person unwanted advice or unwanted opinions here and this situation has ended. It's like this person doesn't want to deal with the unwanted advice or unwanted opinions anymore. Or you don't want to deal with this person and their unwanted crap that they talk. Tell me more. What else does Gemini need to know about this person externally to them in love? Ooh, this person's leveling up, Gemini. Their life is about to change for the better. They're leveling up. They're learning something here. They're definitely learning something here. Yep, their luck. Their luck is about to change here. Tell me more. What else does Gemini need to know about this person externally to them? So they're changing, Gemini. Oh, okay. So they may be kissing your ass, Gemini. This person externally to you very well could be kissing your ass because they lost their chance with you. Or you very well could be kissing their ass because you lost your chance with them, however it goes here. But this person has definitely learned a lesson, that's for sure. They're leveling up. And someone's you're either kissing their ass, Gemini, because you lost your chance with them, or they're kissing your ass and they want, you know, a second chance with you here. What else does Gemini need to know? About this person externally to them in love. Oh, so they're coming in after you, Gemini. So they want to speak to you. They want to talk to you. Ooh. Also, this person externally to, to you, Gemini. This very well could be a parent of yours. Uh, mother or father. Or this could be someone that you parent with. Or this could also be a single parent externally to you. So let's see, hopes and fears, Gemini, we have got the Eight of Pentacles. So y'all could be hoping or fearing, you know, putting hard work in, hoping to put our hard work in or fearing putting hard work in. Y'all could be hoping or fearing, you know, effort, hard work here. So let's see, why is the Eight of Pentacles in Gemini's hopes and fears? We have got the Holly King here, interesting. So someone's definitely hoping or fearing taking a break and isolating themselves. So somebody, you could be hoping or fearing taking a break for yourself and working on yourself. Or you could be hoping or fearing someone else taking a break for themselves and working on themselves here. So what it looks like, Gemini, is like somebody knows how someone really is. Somebody knows what somebody is all about here. Someone knows the truth. So the outcome for me all from now until February 23rd, we've got temperance, which is all about healing. It's all about balance. It's all about cooperation. It's all about, you know, having that inner peace here. Healing. Let's see. Why is temperance here for Geminis in love? Why is temperance the outcome for Geminis in love? Ooh, so we've got the two of wands. So in your outcome, Gemini, within the next few days or weeks, somebody's going to be very confused on whether or not they want to cooperate with someone. Somebody's going to be very confused on whether or not they want to fix a situation with someone here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn Energy, Sagittarius. So let's see. Let's jump in with the Tarot of Sexual Magic. We'll do some up here and then the rest down below for how your partner or your love interest truly feels about you for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love spirit. Okay. What does Gemini need to know in love spirit? Oh, so look at that. We've got the Empress. So we've definitely got a mother figure here. So this could be y'all or this could be another female. This could be a mother figure here. 
Someone's going to find out the truth about a mother figure or some type of female. Ooh, let's see who this is, y'all. Who is this empress for Gemini's in love? Oh, oh, you guys. So somebody's going to find out the truth about a mother figure. Or somebody's going to find out the truth about a pregnant female. Or somebody's going to find out the truth about the mother of somebody's children. Or another female in general. And how this female is sneaky, sly, sneaking around. Or a thief here. Oh, man. Let's see. Tell me more. What else does Gemini need to know and love? Someone's taking a leap of faith. Someone's starting over here. Someone's not willing to put the effort in. Yeah, someone's not fantasizing about someone anymore. Somebody's not over-romanticizing a relationship anymore. Somebody sees someone for who they are here. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. What else does Gemini need to know in love? Ooh, there, there's an ending here, Gemini. There's an ending here with someone. You guys could be ending a situation with someone. Someone's ending a situation with you. Definitely looks like this person externally. But this is also, you know, somebody changing. Somebody transforming themselves here. Tell me more. Tell me about the death card for Geminis in love. There could also be a sexual relationship coming to an end. Um, but this is definitely someone not putting the effort in. Someone not putting the effort in anymore. Somebody ending a situation. Someone not dealing with somebody's manipulative BS here. So we've got the Six of Swords. So yeah, somebody sees the truth about someone. Tell me more. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Yep. Look at that. Someone is walking away from someone. Someone wants positive change. Somebody wants, you know, something better for themselves. Someone's walking away from someone here. Someone does not want, want to deal with, with someone's games. You see how he's getting her to drink that drink and burn her finger here. It's like someone's turning someone down here. Somebody does not want to deal with someone's games. Ooh, Gemini, yep. Secrets are coming out here, okay? Secrets are coming out, and they may be coming out about this third-party female. Also, secrets could be coming out about someone reuniting with someone here. Secrets could also be coming out about overindulgence. Let's see. Tell me more. What's coming in? Oh, yeah, Gemini. So this is definitely someone not getting along with someone because there has been lies, deception, cheating, stealing. Someone's going to find out the truth. Someone's going to find out the truth here. So let's see. Let's jump in with the after tarot for future predictions for Gemini. Definitely keep in mind these can manifest three to six months ahead. So let's see for Gemini's. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus here. Future predictions for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know in love spirit in the future? Look at that. Someone is not going to trust someone. So in the future, someone's not going to trust someone here. There's going to be arguments. There's going to be drama. Someone's not going to be letting go of a toxic situation or a negative situation or a manipulative person or a toxic relationship here. Someone's not going to be trusting someone here. Mm-mm. Could also be emotional ma emotional manipulation. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. What else does Gemini need to know in the future in love spirit? That's way too many. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Somebody is turning someone down. Or somebody's turning someone someone's offer down here. Very well could be for money. Yeah, it definitely looks like someone's healing. Someone's going to be healing a situation here. Someone's unable to walk away from someone. Somebody's unable to get out of a situation with someone. Or somebody's not going to be able to get out of a situation with someone here. Who going into the near future? Tell me more. What does Gemini need to know in the future and love? <clears throat> Three of Cups. So there's reconciliation here. There's celebration. Tell me more. Tell me about this Three of Chalices. This could also be overindulgence. 
Oh, yeah. Someone is definitely taking advantage of someone. Or someone's being taken advantage of. It also looks like someone may only reunite with someone for money here as well. Tell me more. What else does Gemini need to know in the future? Mm -hmm. So there may be a lack of stability. There may be a lack of security. There could also be issues with living environments going into the near future. This could also be an unstable marriage, unstable living environment. Yeah, two people are not going to be seeing eye to eye within a marriage or within a living situation here. Or two people are not going to be seeing eye to eye about a living environment. What else does Gemini need to know in the future in love spirit? Ooh. Someone is not going to put in effort here. Somebody's work is going to be done. Or somebody is just going to stop putting effort in here. Somebody's going to stop giving their love to someone here. It's almost like going into the near future, Gemini. Somebody's going to be confused about taking their power back. Also, it looks like somebody may be confused about a father figure. Or the father of somebody's children here. Or somebody's just confused about, you know, taking action and taking their power back here and seeing the truth of a situation. Dang, Gemini. Yeah, there's that Empress. So we've definitely got, um, you know, the mother of somebody's children here or the father of somebody's children or a mother and father situation going on here for sure. Also, someone may need to be careful about someone stealing, someone sneaking around. Someone stealing from this mother figure. Or somebody needs to be be prepared about, you know, this female energy being negative. Or someone negative around this feminine energy, which it very well could be a mother figure, the mother of somebody's children, or any type of female here. So this female could be negative, or someone's being a negative around this female, whoever this female is. So let's see. Best advice for Geminis in love. Best advice for Geminis in love regarding the situation, Spirit. Best advice for Geminis in love regarding the situation. So we have got make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. We've also got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. We have also got religious factors. So your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And we've also got healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And we have got children. Your love life is being affected by children. Let's see. What is the best advice for Geminis regarding this situation? There it is. Free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. So questions, any questions that Gemini may be asking while watching this reading, answers to those questions, any questions that Gemini's may be asking while watching this reading, answers to those questions, any questions that Gemini's may be asking while watching this reading, answers to those questions. So we have romance here, romance and passion. We've also got... Within the next few weeks, we have no. So any questions that you're thinking about? Perfect timing, so believing in divine timing. Not the right time. Trust. Forgiveness. We've also got get more information. Helpful people. So if you guys would like to join me down below for how your partner or your love interest truly feels about you, the link is down below in the description box, the preview for how your partner or your love interest truly feels about you. We'll be going in with this deck to see what they're thinking, what they would say to you. We'll also be going more in depth with the Tarot of Sexual Magic. We'll also be going in with this deck to see what your partner or love interest would say to you, what's up with them, what you need to know about them. We'll also be going in with this deck as well to see how they feel, um, what they would say to you, you know, any secrets that they may be keeping from you, what you need to know about them. We'll also be going in with these extra decks to get more information about how your partner or your love interest truly feels about you.
We'll also be going in with this deck to figure out any issues that may be happening between you and your partner or love interest or any issues that your partner or love interest may be going through or dealing with. We'll also be going in with this deck to see what your partner or love interest wants from you sexually, what you need to know about them sexually, what they're up to sexually. We'll also be going in with this deck as well to see what they're up to, you know, if there's any secrets that they're keeping from you, what you need to know about them, even more information on them. We'll also be going in with this deck if you're dealing with a third party situation to get the third party's perspective. So this would be information that the third party would tell you you about yourself and your partner or love interest and we'll also be going in with this deck as well as a few others to see what's coming in for love or what kind of love that you're dealing with right now to get even more information on how your partner or your love interest truly feels about you so again if you'd like to join me the preview link is down below and the full link is down below as well i will see y'all over there if not i will see y'all next time definitely like share subscribe take care y'all much love